Hello, happy Canada Day. Today is a new month, and with a new month comes a new topic. And the topic this month is hope. And the first scripture in this topic will be Job chapter 17, verse 15. And where is now my hope? As for my hope, shall see it. Okay, where is our hope? Do we have it someplace where people can see it? Or do we hide it within ourselves and not allow it to grow by sharing it? Hope is definitely like faith. Hope is believing in something that you may not necessarily be able to see. But you have faith, you have a belief that it is true. But where is our hope? Do we hide it away? And not show people that we have it in each and every good thing that is out there? Or do we... Do we show it? In each and every countenance that... we bring forth out of the people? Do we show that we have hope in all good things everywhere we go and among everyone we interact with? Do we honestly show that we are not afraid to have hope even in a world such as this? Do we show that we cling to hope and that hope keeps us going. Do we honestly do we honestly care enough to be an example of hope unto others by showing that even when times are very hard, we still have hope for a better tomorrow? Hope is not something you can buy. Hope is something that you can have within you, even if it's just a seed of hope. Hope is something that cannot be sold. It can be shared. And nobody can destroy it, even if people can destroy lives. Nobody can destroy one's hope. Because hope is part of the human spirit. And no matter what Satan will try to do, he cannot destroy all seeds of hope. He may be able to talk people into destroying themselves, but hope will still remain, even if just one person has it. People can give up hope. But then they give up a lot with the hope. When people give up hope, they, they give up on God and Christ and they say that the atonement cannot help them. And they are in despair and Satan likes those who are in despair. He will grab them and sift them and shake them and distort them so they forget who they are and who they can truly become. We must not be afraid to let people see our hope and us living in hope. We must live in hope each and every day. And we should not be afraid to do it. For hope is how people sometimes keep going because it's all they have, but they cling to it as if it were the world's greatest treasure to them. Christ had hope for mankind. He saw, he saw their potential. So that's why he performed the atonement so that we could let go of everything that held us back from living our hope. And we should not be afraid to live it. For Christ died that we might live it. For he 
he hoped better for us. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.